Hi everyone, I hope you can hear me even though it's a little bit windy outside but I'm still in North Sumatra, uh, this time at Lake Toba. Yesterday it took us 12 hours to get from the jungle which was at Bukit Lawang where I saw wild orangutans. So if you haven't watched that vlog yet, I'm gonna link it up here. But yeah, it took us 12 hours to get here on the way. We saw an active volcano which actually erupted only a couple of weeks ago the last time. And then we checked out the waterfall and then we jumped on a ferry to Samosir Island, which is actually an island in the middle of the Toba Lake. The plan for today is to explore the island and learn some things about the Bata people who are the indigenous people here. I actually learned a random fact about them already yesterday when we're driving uh, through the island. We saw quite a lot of restaurants lined along the road and usually there's a sign in front of the restaurant that says either B1 or B2. The thing about the Bata people is, is that apparently they eat everything that has four legs. And if the sign says B2, it means that they serve pork in a restaurant. But if a sign says B1, it means that they serve dog meat. And there's a lot of B1 restaurants over here. So I'm just gonna leave you at that. And now let's go explore the island. Our first stop of the day was a village where you can see their traditional long houses with saddle shaped roofs and watch their dance ceremony which looks a little like this. <laughs> houses there was also a little museum and a really cute coffee shop behind it. We got into a conversation with the owner, her name is Tiolina and she's one of the loveliest, most charismatic people I've met in my life. We ended up chatting and she told us her life story, how she used to travel a lot and then she married a grandson of the king of this village uh, but when he passed away a few years ago she became really lonely and decided to open up her home to travelers so she started her own bed and breakfast. Naturally we ended up in her house, <laughs> she showed us around, it's really cute and homey if you're ever visiting Samosir, you gotta stay at her place. I'll put her details down below in the description box for those of you that are interested. If I ever come back, I definitely know where I'm gonna stay. Plus, she promised to cook me her specialty when I come to visit and that's definitely a good enough reason to come back for me. <laughs> Our next stop was Huta Sialagan, which is an ancient village known for two sets of 200 years old chairs and tables made out of stones. One used to serve as a meeting place and the other was used for executions. And lastly, we also went to see a cemetery. The Batak people measured their wealth not in how big their house is, but how big their grave is. Because this is so important, they sometimes first buried their relatives in the backyard and later on, sometimes even generations later, when they have more money, they build a proper big grave and move the bones. Oh, and the thing I'm wearing here is their traditional cloth you wear over the shoulder, in this case to pay respect to the dead. I hope you enjoyed following me around Lake Toba or Samosir Island, I guess. My next South East Asian adventure continues back in Malaysia. I'll be exploring two islands, Penang and Langkawi, so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking.